So you've gone out, you've shot your YouTube video or brand commercial, and now you're back, you're at your computer, you're ready to edit, and what comes next? It's finding that perfect music and sound effects that go with your video. And it's this point that I feel like is the most underrated and undervalued part of putting together a video. Whether that's a video for YouTube or creating for a brand or a company, it's often overlooked. And so why is it that music and sound effects are so important? Well, music is what can create a mood, set a tone, give a specific feeling to your video and sound effects are what draw your viewers into your video, allowing them to have this enhanced experience of really being there with you in what you shot. And this is why it's so important. But instead of listening to me blabber on, I wanna show you a short little Instagram video I made for a brand here on Maui with just music, with just sound effects, and then with the music and sound effects all put together. So hopefully after watching these clips, you're able to see why both music and sound effects are so important in creating a video. Again, whether that's for YouTube or for a client. Without that sound design, it just makes the video so dull and boring. Whereas when you have music and you have sound effects, it just draws in that viewer and enhances their experience, putting them right in the video. And that's why this video sponsor is Artlist. Artlist is an online music library that has a huge selection of high quality music and one of their best features is that you can have unlimited downloads for no matter what the project is that you're using it for. Whether that's for YouTube, whether that's for a paid gig, whether that's for a Hollywood movie, it doesn't matter. The one subscription covers it all. I've personally been using Artlist for years, way before they reached out to me. And so I can say without doubt that I have loved using Artlist to find music. And it's especially because I don't have to pay that extra fee when using music for different clients. Getting a song license for paid work can sometimes cost like $300 just for one song. And so with this subscription of $199 for an entire year, you're able to cover any and all of your needs. They've also just come out with a whole library of sound effects, and so the sound effects that you've heard in this clip are also from Artlist as well. So if you are looking for music for your videos, make sure to check them out and use the link that I have below in the description, along with supporting me. If you do sign up, you get an additional two months free. But getting back to this underrated aspect of creating videos and filmmaking, I wanna go over two tips that kinda of help correct what I've seen are mistakes when just starting out with video. Cause these are the mistakes that I've made in the past as well. And tip number one, that's just simply choose the music that fits the video. Just because a song sounds awesome or you're a personal fan of doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to fit your video. If you're creating a wedding film, you're not gonna want heavy metal rock over that first kiss. It's just not going to mesh nicely. So make sure that you're picking the appropriate music to go along with each scene that you're adding music to. The second tip applies to both the music and the sound effects. For the most part, you wanna make sure that you're fading in and fading out 
when the music starts or the sound effect comes in so it's not too jarring or not too abrupt and distracts the audience from what you're trying to convey in the video. And this also applies to the volume of your music and your sound effects. You want all of that to be appropriate. If your music is too loud and you can't hear people talking, or your sound effects are too loud that they're becoming a distraction to what you're wanting to showcase, you're gonna have a problem with your video. I suggest sometimes when you've finished your edit and you're finally done, just take a step back, take 15 minutes to take a break, grab a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do, and come back and re-watch it. Then you'll be able to approach it with a fresh pair of eyes, fresh pair of ears, be able to see some of the, the areas that you might be able to change that you didn't necessarily see or hear when you were in the thick of editing. So hopefully along with the explanation and just letting the video be an explanation for itself, you'll see why music and sound effects are so important and key to telling a great story. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover that I haven't covered already. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help and make a difference and I'll see you on the next video.